Hi, this is Greg Althaus, co-founder and CTO of Racken. I'm going to talk today about digital rebar provision and profiles and, and using profiles, not just what they are. We kind of talked about that on some of the other YouTube videos, but the goal today is how do we use uh, profiles to set parameters for use in our templates? So I've already installed and have digital rebar provision running. And I have a machine kind of sitting in Sledgehammer already. Over here. And so and you can kind of see that machine down here. And so this is kind of, you know, to walk through the provision, the uh, profile parts. So there's my machine and Sledgehammer. So say I want to get into Sledgehammer just to see what the machine's like. Oh, wait. By default, it doesn't have root access except for through the console. So I'm like, hmm. I know that Sledgehammer, by default, um, provides and uses, let's see if I can find it, the remote root access template. So as part of its startup function, it's going to do the remote template, which allows me to put SSH keys in place. So what I'm going to do is I will put that in place. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a profile. So I can either create a YAML file. So I'm going to create a uh, YAML. And I can start by filling it in. Or I can go to the documentation and go, hmm, oh, I'm going to use that remote access. So here's an example of what I might need. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to fix my indentation. Because my and so for my root mode, I'm going to have it work like it normally does, so I don't need to set that parameter. In this case, I'm going to name my my uh, parameter my 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 name. And in this case, I need to get the key. So where was that key? So I want to be able to log in as me. So I'm going to go get my public key in here. I'm going to do that so it'll copy correctly. So I get my key and I go back into my YAML file and I do that. And I go make sure I spell everything right. And so now I have a key, I have it available. So I know this YAML, so then I need to create my profile. So I can say profiles, create, get my input from standard in, redirect, root. So there it is, it's created. So then I can say DRCLI profiles oops, profiles list. And I can see the global profile and root access. So right now that profile will be used and available, but it won't be used. So if I go look at my machine, DRPCLI machines. I can see there's my machine, but notice it doesn't have anything in its profiles list. So to use that profile, I need to edit my machine. So I can say machines, update, and then I need to grab the UUID of that machine. And then I need to send a JSON blob, which will update that. Like that. Now, we'll soon have a helper to make this easier. But at this point, my machine now has that access. So now if I reboot my machine and let that start running, I, that profile will be applied as part of the template rendering and I should get my SSH key added to that node. So we'll let that boot. Now, some of the other things you can do with profiles is you don't have to create the YAML files directly. You could say create, um, you could do profiles, create, and just a simple blob that named it, like Greg profile. And so that created an empty one. And then I can say, you know, profiles set. And I can say, okay, what does set take? Oh, okay, set takes an ID. So I can say Greg profile and then set param param 
Um, and I can set arbitrary profiles. So I can say Fred to James, uh, right? And so it says, oh, James. And I go, okay, well, that, what did that do? And I can say, show me Greg profile. And so now I have the Fred parameter set to James on the Greg profile. If I wanted to clear that, I could say set to null, and lo and behold, it should be gone. And there it is, it's gone. That way I can use the CLI to add them, and I don't necessarily have to manipulate the YAML files or the JSON files directly. This also applies to the global parameter, so I could global profile. So right now, all my nodes would need to have that profile added to it. But I could go into the show the global profile, and it operates the same. So I could say set param Fred to James on the global profile, and now that's there. And all machines get that profile by default automatically. They don't have a choice. That gives me the ability to set those. And so in this case, I set the specific access format that's needed, which is basically a access keys is a map of name to keys so that you can identify the keys easier opposed to just a straight list. Um, in this case, my sledgehammer is almost finished rebooting, so I can see if I can log in. Hopefully I will be able to. So now it's up, so I should be able to go um, and log in. And so now I'm in, so now I have access. So that also then becomes available for that machine. If I go through the an install process, those keys will also be made available as root keys for the, the installed systems as well. So that's an example of profiles and how those get set inside the profiles themselves and then attaching a profile to a machine. Additionally, a machine um, has a profile embedded in it. The idea is that these profiles that are external represent profiles that could be shared across machines. If I want to set the attribute for the machine, I can say set and then we can look at that again and see, okay, set needs the same kind of format. So then I could say set, and I need that UID again. Uh, param, in this case, Fred to James. And I can go and say, okay, well, show me that. And so now I have, specifically, Fred will be set to James. Now, Globally, I think we have that still set uh, that way, or maybe not. Do we unset it? No. So right now, they're the same. And the idea is that I could set this also to John, for example. And in this case, the machine would get John if somebody asked for the, if a template asked for the Fred parameter. All the other machines would get James. So the idea is that those are ordered hierarchically where the machine takes precedent over a profile specified in a machine. So this one takes precedence over the ones that might be specified here or globally. And these override global, where global are the catch-alls at the end. So, and that's how you use profiles. Create profiles, set profiles, and of course you can remove profiles. So DRP, CLI profiles, you can say destroy. Um, in this case, we could destroy Greg profile. Oops, not profiles. Profile, it's gone. And if I do list, we can see I now only have two instead of the three. And I could, yeah. So hopefully you found that useful. I uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Oh, sorry. And as always, check the documentation for examples of how to use the profiles and what attributes are set through some of the templates, and look for more videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks again. I hope you found it useful.